Okay, well, now what I call admitted with God, we start with a song. When I stand in glory, I will see his face. There I'll serve my king forever in that glory place. <laughs> We're talking about victory, uh, but we can actually have you know, those that are enemies of God. There are people that, you know, they are trusting God for, you know, certain issues. And after some time, when they feel God is not coming through, you know, they begin to keep admitting with God. How can you be an enemy? How can you keep admitting your grudges with your maker? But there are even much more serious issues that we need to look at. James chapter 4, verse 4, adulterers and adulteresses, do not know that friendship with the world is admitted with God. Whoever therefore wants to be a friend to the world makes himself an enemy of God. You know, so you want to be someone that is doing God's will, carrying out his counsel. The world puts a lot of pressure on people of faith. You know, if you look at some of the things that is taking place in the world, you decide you don't want to pick a cake for LGBTQI couple, they take you to court. You, know, you don't want to provide service because of your faith, you're claiming religious exemption. You know, the world wants to persecute you. That is the kind of world that we live in. And of course, you have uh, religious people that try to conform with the world. You know, they try to be as woke as possible. You know, anything the world says, they start to incorporate it into the faith and their belief. That is, you are basically an enemy of God and you are looking for trouble. If you want complete victory, you want to be the kind of person that you stick with your faith. You, know, you don't follow the dictates of the world. You only do what is scriptural. 